Hey girls and guys, it is Sarah from Sai Let's Play and we are back with episode 8 of Positively Princess and today is a super exciting day because we get to spend it with our love Dalton. Yay! So we're gonna visit his hometown and we just found out that he's alive and doing well, which is all good news. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Here we go. All right. So we also just found out that Gwyneth was the one trying to kill us. So that's kind of fun. <laughs> Princess, are you okay? We've been looking everywhere for you. Uh, turns out I'm the one who found her. You guys miss me? Dalton? Y you're, you're awake? Somebody had to be here to save Sida again. Say, what, what are you? <gasps> oh, they arrested her. Good. She deserves to be thrown in jail. You don't understand. My country needed me. I didn't know what to do. Oh, uh, I gotta stay calm, cool, and collected. So I'm just gonna be polite about it. Gwyneth, you've now tried to murder me twice. You'll be going away for a long, long time. And I truly hope that someday you can see that I'm not the enemy. Gwyneth tried to hurt you? She lured me into a pack of ravenous wolves. <gasps> Luckily, Dalton showed up and fought them off with a baseball bat. That's two you owe me, Junior. <laughs> Elisha, look at me. Why won't you look at me? You try to kill the woman I love. Princess Saya is far more forgiving than me. I could never forget this, and neither would Emma. Guards, take her away. Ooh! Bye, Felicia. I can't believe she tried to bake you puppy chow. But wait, why did you say twice? She confessed to cutting the chandelier cable, too. This is my fault, princess. I should have seen the signs. You were in danger because of me. No, I was in danger because Gwyneth has serious issues. I don't blame you for that. Actually, Jada's the one who brought her around, isn't she? So if there's someone to blame... Ah! Oh, did I say it was good to have you back yet? Because I'm not so sure. We are in your debt, Prince Dalton. And now that the assassin is in the hands of Sundarian royal guards, we should all get a good night's rest. No way are we staying here, Ash. It's way too murdery. I got the jet gassed up. We leave for my kingdom in an hour. You want to take the princess to Landria into the lion's den? Better than here with the wolves. The haters and Elijah's killer exes. <laughs> yeah, it's not funny though. They are crazy. Just because Gwyneth cut the cables doesn't mean Sida's any safer in the port of Queen Craxis. That is kind of true. But I do also want to spend the day with Dalton, so... Dalton has already saved my life twice. I know I'm safe with him. Good. Plus, I don't make a habit of ringing my mother on dates. <laughs> You've more than earned our trust, Dalton. But Jada and I are coming too. Fine. Would be nice to see one of you take a chandelier to the face for a change. Just stay out of my way and try to not to invite any more assassins to the party, okay? Ooh, the shade. Ready for a new adventure, Sida? <laughs> of course I am, Dalton, because I love you. <laughs> mm. Okay, this place doesn't look as nice as the other two. Yeah, this feels safer. Mm. I told you to stay the heck away, mother. I'm here to show Sida the good things about Malrovia, and that obviously doesn't include you. You're telling me off again? That's wonderful. Oh. Uh, uh-oh. We must be in a very evil place. It's frozen over and everything. Agreed. And snap on that sass, Princess J. Okay, um, let's just, uh, we're not gonna hug it out. <laughs> no. <gasps> what are you up to, Craxis? I know you have no reason to believe me, princess, but I've changed. Almost losing your son will do that to you. But Dalton didn't come back for me. He woke up for you. So I'm done with the petty fights and the squabbling over who deserves the throne. Okay, she is definitely lying. Well, that's new. Today is about honoring my son and celebrating his triumphant return. I've set up a quiet little gathering for our families nearest and dearest. I hope you'll give me a chance and attend. We're not here for the benefit of your social calendar, mother. I'm going to show side of the real Malrovia. And if you want to honor my return, you can stay out of my way. I understand. 
You have no reason to trust me. Princess Dupree, I want you to know that this dinner is not for me. It's for the people to celebrate their brave prince. Hold up. She never called me princess before. Well, a dinner would satisfy the clause that each suitor honors the princess with some kind of event. Mm. Come on now. You've hated me from the minute I set foot in Elandria, and now you think I'm going to believe you've changed of, uh, all of a sudden? Survey says, heck no! But this is Dalton's date, and if he wants to have a drink in the castle, I'll do it. Because as long as he's by my side, I know you can't hurt me. Fine, we'll go for one drink, and only because it keeps me in the courtship contest. Being with you is worth even putting up with her. Wonderful. Now you go and get ready and I'll make sure everything's perfect for our intimate little night in. Don't just stand there. You heard my son. Someone call the caterer. Yeah, I have a bad, bad feeling about this. And she's back. So who needs a drink like now? Mia does. <laughs> so where's he going to take us? Okay. So you choose the suitor in like just days. So tonight you need to look bomb, okay? I can't wait. Like Dalton told me once, being queen is my destiny. Yeah, and it's your last chance to play the field tonight before the big engagement ball. <gasps> oh, I agree, which is why I've chosen the perfect regal gown for you to wear for Dalton's party. Is she gonna have me wearing like a potato sack? You chose it? It's from my very own collection. Go try it on. It better be cute. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Yikes. You're looking very mother of the bride of Dracula. Well, I think it makes you look like a quite the dignified woman. Do you want to look like this? Because I'm pretty sure you're not a senior citizen just yet. Plus, Dalton will be sure to think of his beloved mother every time he sees you in this dress. Oh, dear gosh, please no. Um, remember that time you wore that super cute dress that didn't remind your bae of his mother? And what dress would that be, Miss Mia? The one the princess is going to borrow from me. It's in the closet, Sida. Check it out. Okay, we are definitely not wearing that. <gasps> oh, my God. She looks stunning. Now, this ombre sequence slice of heaven is sure to bring all the booze to your heart. Plus, there's even an adorable fur coat with earmuffs. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. And the most importantly, there's also zero secrets, cracks and surveillance devices in it. So that's a good thing. I don't know what you're talking about. I would never implant a state-of-the-art GPS tracker in a dress I'd give someone I hold in a high esteem, okay? Craxus, for someone so evil, you aren't the best liar. So, Princess, what do you want to wear? Uh, of course we're gonna slay this ice queen! You won't have to worry about getting cold in that dress because it is fire! <laughs> the ball has begun, Princess. She's ready to be the Belle Basho. <laughs> For sure, for sure. Okay, here we go. Ooh, everyone's here and they're all dressed so nicely. But let's be honest, she's the best dressed. I thought your mom said this was going to be intimate. To her, this is small. Mom's nothing if not a royal show-off. Oh, I could tell. <sighs> Loving this ensemble, princess. You're a true vision in this sequence dress. For once, I agree with these guys. Just seeing you in that is making me stoked we agreed to come. Thank you for joining me in the celebration of my beloved son's triumphant return and his heroism in rescuing the Elandrian princess. Prince Dalton is your future king, and I'm so glad he found a reason to fight his way back to life in the princess. So the prince and his princess. Oh, okay. She's using my title loaning me dresses and toasting to us. Could it be your mom is actually changing? Don't bet on it. She's all about manipulation to get what she wants. I just have to figure out what it is. Anyways, we had our drink. Now I want to show you the real man, Ro Malrovia. Are you in? Oh, Prince Dalton, you're needed to address the court. I didn't come here to play prince for my mother's puppets. 
Lady Susanne is here. She specifically asked for you. Susie is here? She's my goddaughter. You obviously want to see her. Go on. All right. But as soon as I've caught up with her, it's just you and me. Deal? I'll be waiting. Okay, while he's going to see his goddaughter, you know something bad's going to happen. It always does. <sighs> this certainly is an unusual castle. I haven't seen this style of architect since Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> I was going to say the sword and the stone, but both certainly do fit Queen Crax's style. Thank you, Prince Elijah. I'll take that as a compliment. As we all know, my taste is impeccable. Impeccable. In fact, princess, I'd love to show you the throne room. Would you accompany me? Alone? I don't think so. She's probably trying to behead you. I understand that you don't trust me. I'm afraid when I'm angry or anxious, I'm prone to be, mm, you know, hyperbolic. Is that what you call making open threats? This is important, princess. It concerns your mother. Your guards will be with us the whole time. It's okay. I'll be back in just a few minutes. I promise. A true princess shows no fear. Girl, you should not go with her. She's going to try to kill you. Or tell you some evil secret that's going to make you question everything. It's just going to be all bad. Thank you, princess. Dalton hasn't danced like that since he was in Cotillion. Dalton saved my life twice. Dancing with him was my honor. But you said this was about my mother. Yes. I think I might help explain why, you know, I behave like I have. What you don't know about Jess and I is that we were best friends. Say what? It's true. We were once just as inseparable as you and Mia. Mmm, I don't know if I believe that. Best friends. I thought you hated my mother. No. In fact, I loved her like a sister. You see, my family didn't always know about the treaty that said Elandria was rightfully ours. Well, Asher says that's not true. It belongs in my family as long as our family line keeps growing, which is why Dalton found me. As long as I take the throne, the Dupree legacy continues in Elandria. We could argue about that for years, but that's not what I want, and not why I wanted to talk to you. You see, once our parents unearthed the treaty, it was all out war. Jess and I were just young women, caught in the crossfire. Our parents demanded that we never see each other again. How awful. Jess and I tried to communicate secretly, but our friends began choosing sides. And I was pushed out. You see, your mother had always been the prettier one, the more popular one. And I was awkward and uncomfortable in my own skin. I had to force myself on people to be included. But Jess was confident and kind and worldly. People loved her and rejected me. It's never easy to feel like an outsider. I should know. I guess I was jealous. My parents sowed the seeds of my deep envy and convinced me that Jess was stealing a throne that was rightfully mine. They said she wanted me gone. I was smart. That was my greatest asset. But eventually, I grew cold and hateful towards Jess. And I guess now, I pass that grief and anger on to her daughter too. See, I want to believe her and I want to feel bad for her. But every time I feel bad for someone, they end up stabbing me in the back. So I don't know what I want to do here. But I will hear her out. I'll be sympathetic. I'm really sorry you lost your best friend. But being nasty to people that you're jealous of, that's not okay. You're right, and now that your mother's gone, I realize she and I can never make things right. But maybe you and Dalton can. So I want to ask you to choose my son, right my wrongs, and heal our nations. It might even save my relationship with Dalton and allow me to be the mother he deserves. Well, Elijah had a rift with his parents and I did help with that. Maybe I could... No! Oh! That was an Oscar-worthy performance, Mom, but Saira and I aren't falling for your concerns. Um, okay, what are you talking about? Did you find out something new about your mother? Ooh, I don't have to find anything new to know that this is all an act. Think about it, Saira. She knows you're just days from choosing a suitor and taking the throne. Remember what I said, 
she uses lies and spectacle to manipulate people. And if there's even a chance you're falling for it, I have to get you out of here. Don't be ridiculous, Dalton. Saturn doesn't need someone like you to speak for her. You can screw with me, mother, but I'll die again before you. I let you screw with Saida. Ooh, she looks angry. She must be hiding something. What happened in there? What happened is my mother was working an angle on you, using your supposed friendship with your mom so she can get closer and manipulate you. This is why I can't come home. Her lies and twisted plots have driven away everyone I've ever cared about. But I guess that's what she wants. For me to have no one in my life to turn to but her. So that she can rule over me like she rules over everyone else in total control. Can we please just get out of here? Just go. What do you mean? Let's steal my mom's sleigh so I can show you my Malrovia. I love to see your Malrovia. Not to mention, here's some truth for a change. Will you tell me what it's really been like for you here? I'll tell you my deepest secret. Ooh! Okay. Okay, turn up the heat, rescue Dalton from his manipulative mother, and learn more about him on a romantic adventure. Of course! Petty crimes don't really count as deep secrets, right? <laughs> I knew you'd be in. <laughs> so where's he gonna take us? So, what's your big secret? I was kidding. I don't have one. I've been completely honest, unlike Jada and Elijah. You may not have secrets like them, but I know there's more to you than meets the eye. What you see is what you get. Mm, I don't think so. I mean, I don't even know what you're proud of or afraid of or your darkest moments. Darkest moment? That's easy. Getting sent away to boarding school. What? Why'd you get sent away to boarding school? According to my mother, because my rebellious nature needed to be curbed. But the real reason was because I helped someone she deemed unworthy of our attention. What do you mean? I was aboard my mom's royal yacht and saw a noble completely abusing a deckhand named Vega. Vega had a whole family depending on him and this job. He dreamed of being a fisherman, but he couldn't afford his own boat. But why was the noble being mean to him? That's easy, to impress my mother. The noble actually lifted his hand to Vega over nothing, some spilled soup. So I got in the way. His ring made a deep gash in my eyebrow. Ah, that explains the eyebrow scar. My mother didn't like that. The noble insisted I be punished, that I would be a weak leader who needed to be taught a lesson. She didn't like her puppets were questioning me, so she took action. Within days, I was enrolled in a military boarding school. Of course, my dad refused. They had a big fight that drove him to the edge. He had a heart attack and died instantly. That's crazy. Um, wait a minute. Your dad died right in front of you? In my arms. My mother just stood there, staring at us. She knew I'd never forgive her, and I won't. I'm so sorry, Dalton. That's awful. I've never told anyone that, but I can see how much you care. I really do. Thank you, Saida. That means a lot to me. After losing my dad, I didn't let anyone get close. Until you. Ah! Okay, we're gonna go ahead and kiss him. <laughs> You've saved my life twice, Dalton. It's time I show you how much that meant to me. You don't owe me anything. I know. I just wanted an excuse to do this. Ah, oh, the cheese! It's all melting because it's so cheesy! <laughs> You've never needed an excuse to do that with me, Saida. Oh my gosh, look at these. How could they not end up together though? But like how? Oh look, we're here. Where is this place he's taking us? Oh, he's taking us to, it's, oh, is that the guy who he helped out? It is! Hey Vega, wait, the Vega? It's an honor to meet you, Princess Saida. The honor's all mine, Mr. Vega. So you must be the woman he keeps going on about. I knew it takes someone special to get him to settle down. Dalton said he wants to settle down? Hmm? He's talking about me? Okay, okay, how's the ship? All set. All right, I'll let the port captain know that we're headed out. You're taking me sailing? Just wait. <gasps> don't, don't not tell me it's gonna end with a boat crashing or something. <gasps> uh, I don't know what he's been telling you, but don't be fooled, eh? 
Okay, wait, who are these guys? I doubt you know anything about what he's told me, and I don't think it's your business what I do and don't believe about him. Oh, if you aren't a match for Dalton, I don't know who is. I just meant he's a good kid, not the tough guy he pretends to be. Each and every one of us on these docks was on the Queen's blacklist. Hard not to be when you gotta steal just to feed your family. Or pay taxes you can't afford. Dalton gave us all a second chance. We love the kid, and we know that he truly cares about you. Ah! Careful hanging with this crew. They could give you a bad reputation. <laughs> Worse than the one I'm getting from hanging with the rebel prince? <laughs> ah, you've met your match, Dalton. I like her. Don't go screwing this up. I won't. But the boat's ready. Ready to see my favorite part of the kingdom? Lead the way. I just don't. This is going so well. I don't want anything bad to happen. It's so quiet and peaceful out here. These waters have been my home away from home since my father taught me to sail a boat. It's the only place I can be, you know, my own and free of the queen of the expectations. Yeah, well, I feel pretty free too. But that doesn't mean I don't want to be closer to you. That could be the company, not the sea. <laughs> this is all I've ever wanted from the first time we met. You and me, together, alone, like that first sunset we saw in the States. And that letter you wrote, the one you left me in Elandria, it made me realize that you cared too. You're the first person I've allowed myself to love since my dad died. You're wrong, Dalton. You pretend to be cool and uncaring, but this whole time, you've been Robin Hood. You help people, and you've got two scars to prove it. I risk my mother's wrath to bring you to Elandria. I don't want you to choose me because she asked you to. I only want you to choose me if you love me, because I love you. That's why I had to wake up, because you've given me a reason to live. Ah! Okay, we're gonna give him a hug. You mean so much to me too. You're stronger than your mother, Dalton, and you'll save your kingdom from her, with or without me. You've definitely been more fun, you know, having you around. I hope you trust me, because everything I do, I'm doing for you. Ah. Well, I'm here now, so let's just enjoy it. We can watch the stars till morning and be free together. That's such a cute little day. But something's... Oh, oh my gosh, I fell asleep. Dalton? Wait, what? They're not on a boat. Where are we? Are they on a boat? Uh, oh, they are. Wait, that's not the same one, though. Wait. Wait, uh, where's the shoreline? Dalton? Dalton? Oh, I thought you were headed back to the castle. Where are we? 300 miles from our homes, and we're never going back. Wait, you kidnapped me? Has Dalton betrayed you? Where's he taking you? Keep playing to find out. No way. Okay, okay, okay. There is no way he kidnapped us. I personally think he's going to ask her to run away together. That's what I think. That's going to be my guess. That he's going to, you know, take her away. He's going to say, let's leave our kingdom behind. Let's be normal people. And live happily ever after. Which I'm hoping that's the case. And I'm hoping he's not actually a creep who kidnapped her. Fingers crossed. Please, Dalton. I love Dalton. He was going to be my choice. I don't want to be heartbroken. But anyway, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I hope you guys had fun watching. Let me know in the comments down below. Is Dalton up to something bad or is this just like a good thing? I don't, I, I don't know what to think anymore. So let me know in the comments down below. Is Dalton up to something sneaky or is this just, you know, is it going to end up being nothing? Oh, I don't know what to think anymore. But once again, I hope you guys had fun watching. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and share. And I will see you guys next time.